If you want to make an impact in your business before year end, take a listen to our vlog for some great ideas. So there's a whole lot of stuff that happens at end of year. And for some people, end of year means rush, 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 and get all their records in place. <laughs> they haven't done it all year. Um, and we never suggest this because you don't know what you're making. You don't know how well your business is doing. And all you know is the cash that you have in your hand is not a true indicator of how well you're doing. Um, it's one of the indicators, but it is not the only indicator. So we always suggest you know, get making sure that all of your records are are up to date, right? That, yeah. that might be the first step. Yeah, keeping keeping things done on a regular basis throughout the year um, not only helps you 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 have better memory of what's happened for one, so you can properly record everything, and and two, it helps manage your business, so you could see where their where the problems are or or the successes are, and and help. Uh, you know, manage your business better. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've seen people that um, have put things off, they forget what has happened. Or just like you said, they um, aren't really sure what is actually happening within their business. And then it's too late to make a change that's going to be impactful um, by keeping the books and records up to date as best you can. Uh, it gives you a better picture to make those changes uh, more frequently if they need to be, or at least be aware of what is happening so that nothing is kind of a surprise to you. And there's a lot of surprises when you're running your own business, but there are ones that you can help mitigate. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's that's really important. And, you know, if, you're, if your records aren't up to date, get them up, if you can get them up to date, um, you know, as much before year end as possible that way you can help you know forecast for the rest of the year mm -hmm. so to plan what what may need to be implemented for the rest of the year so right. I mean, you're always as a business you know you, you always want to try to try to forecast you want to try to you know what's going to happen in the future short term long term um and and this you know getting your finances in order to help forecast for the rest of the year can help you plan to mitigate any issues. Yes, absolutely. And forecasting can be done in, in multiple ways. You can look at what is actually um, in the works to be done for the rest of the year. Um, you can also use some of your know, historical data to show, you know, maybe what has happened that same period of time in past years. Um, that can give you a pretty good inclination as to what may happen in the upcoming period for that, you know, that same, that period of time. Um, and, you know, using your best judgment on things, um, you say, okay, well, every month you might say, okay, short term wise this year, every month I've been spending $5,000 on overhead. Um, so I know that at least 5,000 a month is going to be an expense, but um, I'm looking at purchasing some new equipment before year end. So that is going to be an added expense that I didn't necessarily have in my normal monthly budgeted numbers. Right. So forecasting is a mix of all kinds of things. It can, it, it, it's kind it's not a complete science. You have to kind of use your intuition. You have to use what knowledge you have about your business to help forecast out what the rest of that year looks like. Yeah, and you know the past few years have been have been really volatile with a lot of different things that happen. So you know, m recent history may not be a good indicator of what right. of what of where we're at now, yeah, or, or what's to come over the you know the next few months for the year mm -hmm. end. So kind of have to take take that that information with a little bit of grain of salt and see, okay, the, exactly. is that a right a proper indicator of what's going to happen? Um, for this year and the rest of this year. Right, right. So once we have, you know, kind of a projection of what the year is going to look like, and, and this is made up again of some actual true numbers and a, and a forecast piece of it, right? No matter, you know, depending on the number of months that you still have to forecast out, um, that projection for the year we want to do something with that information, right? It, 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 
if we're just going to project it out, that's great. Yay. I mean, you know, a hundred million dollars. That's awesome. <laughs> but what are we going to do with the information? Right. So that leads to other things. Um, yeah. So, you know, setting, setting goals, what are, what are your business goals for the rest of the year um, to, to, to help you achieve or improve what you think the outlook is going to be? Um, is there something you need to uh, put in place, whether it's processes or equipment or, or hire some hire people, um, you know, is, what is, what can you do in the short term as far as goals to help you get? Yeah. And how did you measure up against the goals that you set for yourself? earlier in the year, yeah, exactly. um, you know, you may have had a certain sales number goal or a certain customer goal. Um, and have you been monitoring that throughout the year? And if you have, how do you anticipate the rest of the year is going to impact those numbers? Have you reached your goal? And um, what things do you need to do, even in the upcoming year, because of, you know, either reaching or not reaching those goals? Right, exactly. That's, it's important to to understand all that. Yeah. And then you mentioned about, you know, whether or not you want before end of year, um, purchase any new items, um, any new investments in the company investments, meaning do you need to hire anybody new? Um, you know, some people are in a seasonal business, not necessarily Christmas or Valentine's or something like that involving around a holiday, but seasonality, for instance, yeah. a pool company that has an extremely busy uh, beginning of summer and extremely busy end of summer time period. You know, they have maintenance in between, but very heavily concentrated in those seasonal times, um, being prepared for those uh, going forward. And, and you know, are you investing into the your business in that capacity? What has to be done before year end? Right, exactly. And, and you know, you may, you may find that you need to put, uh, you know, get lines of credit set up or other financial instruments to help you through maybe a slow time that's coming up or to help you gear up for if your if your seasonality is mm -hmm. at the end of the year um, like holiday season do you need to front load a bunch of uh, purchases to get your inventory stocked up to be able to uh, to meet that demand um, mm -hmm. so you may you may need to borrow as well so you got to have yeah your finances in order um, because the, the lenders are going to want that information. Yes, absolutely. And it is good to have that at your fingertips and not scrambling. So again, back to point one, having everything put together <laughs> ongoing, right? Exactly. And then the last thing that people never want to discuss is taxes. And it's yeah. this isn't going to be a discussion about how to get those taxes in line, but more or less the fact that you need to address the fact that there's going to be taxes. Um, nobody likes to pay taxes, but um, you know, if your business is doing really well, there's a pretty good chance you're you're going to have some taxes due. Right, and you know, there there, there could be some year-end strategies to help to help reduce some of those taxes. But again, you're, you, it goes back to point one: you have to know where where you're at uh up through the year and what are you projecting and then you could maybe uh implement some of those tax saving strategies before year, year end um yeah. you know once year end happens and the calendar ticks over um it's hard it's really hard to do you know post year end tax planning there's right. not a lot that can be done after year end there are some things but you know a lot of stuff has to get done before year end before year end yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we hope that you guys found this uh, blog very interesting and insightful for uh, things to consider when you're coming up upon year end, which is what we're going to be doing in this upcoming month. Um, so if you like our content, please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and uh, check out our website at moderncpaonline.com. If you struggle with your business finances, we do have a masterclass and that's moderncpaonline.com slash masterclass to help you work through gathering and organizing some of your financial information. So take care guys and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.